hey guys welcome back to another exciting video tutorial today and in this video i'm going to show you guys how can you run your apex test classes or test methods in vs code now before jumping into the video i want to show you guys what are the some what are some advantage with vs code so if you go with the traditional approach when you run the test class you have two options so first one is obviously you can go to the developer console and you can hit this run test option or you can go to the disk test here click new run and you can basically select any test method that you want now another approach is you can basically go to this apex test execution you can just search this into the setup and then you can hit uh, select this select test and uh, basically you can run your test multiple test classes here if you have multiple or you can even run single one so these are the basic two approaches now uh, sometimes the problem that i have faced and i'm pretty sure a lot of people have faced this uh, even some of my colleagues in most of the projects that i have worked on they have faced the same problem is that whenever your test uh, whenever you're running the test it takes a long time it, it doesn't take you know um uh, it takes a long time because you have so many users you have so many classes you have so many methods a lot of things are running it totally depends on obviously what your main class uh, code is performing some actions uh, but i will say through this developer console i have personally seen some results that uh, some class that took so long time uh, when i ran it in developer console but when i ran it into the vs code it was very fast another thing uh, that when you have so many classes it is difficult to figure out what is the test coverage again there are two uh, ways to figure out what is the test coverage of your overall main class you can basically go to this overall coverage here and you can just scroll down for the individual percentage of the class for example right now uh, for this account manager this is 83 percent that i'm covering okay so i'll just make it again zero by adding some space here extra and now it will be zero okay so i'm gonna show you guys how to run this um, a test class which i have written here account manager test through vs code so let's get started now I, as i was mentioning we have option here to check the percentage it takes a long time to scroll by the way trust me i have scrolled a lot in my life so there is one thing another thing is if you just open this main class here okay so if I just type here this account manager and if I open this main class, you can see this code coverage here as well. Okay, let me just make it a little bigger. So this code coverage, you can see here, this is going to be a lot of, a lot of bigger. Now, if you don't have this extension, I have made a really interesting video. You should definitely go and watch this. Seven must have Chrome extensions for your um, uh, for Salesforce developers. So if you're a Salesforce developer, you should definitely have this extensions. If you don't have just get them okay i'm gonna put link that uh, link in the description below okay uh, around the comments so let's get started with our vs code first okay so i have this vs code and if you haven't used vs code ever i made the very first video on my channel for this so this is the video authenticate salesforce org with vs code to run apex code so you can run apex scripts a lot of things you can run so go there watch this video first and then uh, let's say this is a prerequisite video for this current video. So what I have done is I have already uh, retrieved my classes through this uh, package.xml. So I explain what is package.xml, how can you retrieve the data. Okay, so I have retrieved my test class and I have retrieved my main class here as well. Now to run this now this is a very simple uh, tutorial guys trust me. So once you have authenticated your org whatever the org that you want to authenticate uh, whatever the org that you have authenticated you just have to open your test class and once you open your test class you will see there is something called run all test and if you just hover on any test here you'll see run test there is also option for debug so we'll come to the debug later so uh if you just click on this run all test this is going to run the whole test class okay it is exactly equivalent to the run test button that you see on the developer console and there is another option which is run test you can run your test individually as well another way to run this test is if you just go to this testing tab here okay you will see this apex test here you can even refresh the test also from here so if i just click on this refresh you will see if you added a new test here you can uh, run the test here as well so you can run this all test okay all together you can even run individual test as well so same thing you can do from here as well now whenever you add a new test you have to always deploy this class okay once you deploy then only it will 
basically uh, you know allow you to run your test so let's say uh, i want to run the whole class and i want to see how much percentage it is covering right now i cannot even see what it what code it is covering so if i go here let's let's run the test here first it's not going to take much time because uh, there is not much uh, heavy operation that is going on but in some cases you might f see some heavy operations or heavy complex code that is running okay so uh, now this is uh, this test is uh, successful if you see here and if you just open this output here you'll find that uh, there are four tests it ran okay and 100% uh, success rate there is no not a single test that has failed and it's going to show you guys what are the test method that it ran and how much percentage it basically uh, has covered and how much time also it took so you can even figure out let's say you want to optimize a test you can optimize the test method by the way so how can you optimize what test method is covering and you can even figure out if that is taking long time that you your main class needs optimization as well or not so you can figure out all these things with this um, uh, data here and the main thing what is the overall percentage of my test uh, of a main class so you can you can see that here only okay so this is covering 83 percentage right now now i want to see what lines are getting covered and what lines are not getting covered because this is 83 percent is not 100 percent so some lines are definitely not getting covered so how can i basically get that information so to figure out that just go to the terminal here okay and then you have this option here called highlight apex code coverage so if you just click on this highlight apex code coverage it is going to show you the green lines which are basically getting covered the lines which are highlighted by green color are getting covered and lines which are not highlighted by the green which are highlighted by the red color this means obviously these are not getting covered so in developer console you have something called blue and red so here it's green and and red if you want to run individual tests, you can run this individual test from here as well but in developer console if you want to run the individual test you have to go to this test here click on new run then click on this um, um class and if you have so many classes it's gonna take a long time first of all it's gonna take a lot of time that is the reason i use vs code because i want to do things faster and uh, it's all about running the test right so you can do that also apart from that you can even debug the test okay so you, you see there is option called debug all test let's say your test is failing somewhere so you can just click on this debug all test right now it's not gonna run because i have a developer org uh, which is uh, salesforce trader org basically so if you have your project org there you can actually debug all the tests here okay i might create some org uh, in future and i'm gonna make a video on this debug all the tests as well so you can just use this uh, by the way new video coming for how to debug apex code also so uh, you can just debug this all tests even single tests as well you can you should definitely try this in your project by the way so you, you'll find something some code in this debug console and you can it's it's more like an apex uh, debug log that you get okay all right guys i forgot to mention one thing by the way so you will not be able to see this highlighted code if you don't add just one single line so you have to go to the settings.json okay so if you go here dot vs code in this folder there is setting.json okay and here you'll find this salesforce uh, so this basically just copy this copy paste this code okay and whatever uh, below this uh, search exclude okay so you just uh, copy paste this code and you will be able to see this all right guys so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, drop them in the comment if you have any suggestions definitely drop in the comments i'm gonna make another uh, video on how to debug your apex code and maybe lwc in future as well and uh, i will be posting some short videos so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.